Hello all, welcome to Sonu's KB and today we are going to learn how to move your existing installation of WSL2 to, to a different drive. By default it is installed in C drive and we are going to move it to our D drive so that we can create some space in C drive as we all may have less space available in C drive like mine. I have only 3.4 GB free space okay for this I'm going to move my WSL installation to D drive and these installation are already running let me show you Ubuntu 20 0.4 is the my Ubuntu WSL install Let's wait for the start of this instance. It will take some time. Now we got it. I am running some startup scri scripts which thrown some errors. Let's see the data here. We have many files created here. As you can see these files. I'm validating this file because so that we can recheck after moving these file oh my uh, moving this uh, installation to D drive whether these files are there or not okay now let's see when work we have 20h2 Windows 10 installation now we have verify the data in our WSL2 instance now we are going to move this to D drive our space in C drive is very less let's do it we are going to open rag edit registry editor you need to open and this is the path where you have to go for changing the drive of the existing installation after going to LXSS you have to find the instance which you want to move to different location so this is the instance which we are going to move and the if you can see the path of this installation this is in C drive default location okay we are going to move this VHDX to different location and it's 2 GB of size let's do it now first of all we have to set down all our WTSL WSL2 instances for this let's list the instance this is running which we are going to move for us we have to set it down let's re-verify okay every instance is set down now we are going to move it we are going to move it to D drive This is the path where we are going to move it to D drive. Now every instance is stopped. Now go to this. As we can see the distribution name, we have to re-verify. This is what we are going to move. Let's back up this thing first because we are editing this, so we have to export it. on our D drive back up save now this the whole registry setting is backed up so that we can restore it if we face any challenge this is best practice before changing any registry settings we have to 
back it up so that we can restore it okay now you have uh, this i'm going to give you this path in the description box so that you can just open registry entry registry editor and go to this path now let's go to base path as we have to modify it to dtrack first of all we have to move the file this is the file which we are going to move to dtrack so we will cut we'll cut it and paste it in dtrack the, this is the backup file which we have just created now we are going to create a folder here uh, ubuntu 20 in this folder i'm going to paste that uh, ex the full dot vhdx file which we want to move to d drive great now we have moved it to d drive let's copy this path go to the registry entry again we have to re-verify this 20 0 distribution name 20.04 right click here modify and just change the path of the moved vhdx file now we have moved the thing we need to do now just let's restart our instance again here We can ignore this message oh now we got our instance back see all the files are there and let's verify the space in c drive look at this earlier it was 3 gb something now it's 5 gb i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you like this video i'm grateful for you to watch this video thank you thank you bye bye